So you should all have a handout right here. Lori Weckeser has been teaching high school English. Really paying attention to our writing. For 26 because years. I think this is a really important topic. But today, she's the student. Gender is separate from sexual orientation. There were some things in that in that training that I didn't even know. Weckeser is one of about 1,100 teachers this year at the Eastside Union High School District in San Jose, who, for the first time, will undergo mandatory training on gender issues. And we're going to talk a little bit about LGBTQ language. Have you had students who identify as trans? Yeah, um, I have a student right now, as a matter of fact. I was the first adult ever that this particular child shared that they feel transgender. That's not the first time that's happened to me. School social workers are leading these trainings throughout the district. I always support kids in their journey, but we don't know if, if it's safe for them to be out. And so we never want to make that assumption. Teachers also learn that some trans students prefer plural pronouns, like they or them, rather than he or she. This is tricky, and I know English teachers are probably cringing. <laughs> We recently surveyed schools across the Bay Area at the 20 largest school districts and found that even when gender education is offered to teachers, training varies widely. Courses for educators range from just 19 minutes to 16 hours. Two years ago, our reporting also uncovered that five of the largest school districts in the Bay Area, home to more than 105,000 students, didn't offer any teacher training at all. But after our initial investigation aired, three of those school districts, including Eastside Union, changed their policies to begin training teachers. The reforms are now impacting nearly 60,000 students at 61 schools. Lots of communities and lots of districts who have the, I don't want to see it. And we are not that community and we are not that district. Chris Van Schack is deputy superintendent at the Livermore District. When we first spoke to him about a year and a half ago, his schools were not providing gender training to educators. But now the district is offering new online training to its 650 teachers. Why the change? You know, honestly, the conversation you and I had last year, which was like, it, it did give me pause. Hmm. You know what? We need to do more. There certainly are students at, at every school in our district who identify themselves as transgender. Education, supporting students, We've just learned California's new school superintendent, Tony Thurman, plans to sponsor legislation in the coming days that would require annual gender training for all middle and high school teachers throughout the state. The new law could take effect as early as next year. Thurman first pushed the idea after our initial investigation last year. Back then, he was a state assemblyman. What about parents who think these aren't the kinds of conversations that should be going on in the classroom to begin with? There's nothing about this bill that in any way should infringe upon parental rights. All it does is acknowledge is that sometimes things come up in the school environment and we have to have a way to address it for the safety of, uh, of our children. There you go. Yeah. Lori Weckeser says it's a crucial lesson worth learning. What's at stake here? Well, everything, their life is at stake. What did you notice in these instructions? We're seeing more and more kids be comfortable with coming um, into the classroom and saying, this is who I am, this is who I want to be, this is how I want you to see me. And teachers need to know how to react to that.